Christians should avoid conspicuous consumption. I may have offended some of you from my last segment where I said it might be okay for a Christian to buy a Bentley. And now I'm saying Christians should avoid conspicuous consumption. And you're probably thinking, okay, what's the scoop here? Well, it really depends on the purpose. Christians should avoid conspicuous consumption. What is conspicuous consumption? Conspicuous consumption is spending money in a way that makes a statement that you have money and that you are spending it to flaunt it. So it's different than simply buying a quality product. It's buying a quality product or a product to make a statement that you have money. So two people might purchase the same object, and for one person, it might be due to an honest appreciation of the object, and for another, it might be conspicuous consumption. For example, I know very little about art, and so I would probably not spend more than about $50 for a painting to put in my house. On the other hand, somebody who appreciates fine art might spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to put a piece by a famous artist in his or her house because he or she really appreciates the quality of that particular piece of art. Another person might do the same thing, and they don't really have an appreciation for the art, but they simply want to show their friends that they can afford to buy this particular artist. So in one case, it might be okay, and in another case, it might not be. Now, some of you might say, well, how is that possible? Well, the Apostle Paul said for, in the case of eating meat, for one person it might be okay, and for another person it might not be. And it really has to do with their motives and their conscience. On this issue of conspicuous consumption, at one time, sweet tea was an example of conspicuous consumption. To serve sweet tea indicated that you could afford to buy tea from China, sugar from the Caribbean, and ice during the summertime. Now, today, no one would consider sweet tea as an example of conspicuous consumption, but I use this as an example to show that it's very relative. What might be considered conspicuous consumption at one time would not be conspicuous consumption at another time. And what might be considered conspicuous consumption for one individual might not be conspicuous consumption for another individual. Again, the issue here is motive. There is nothing wrong with the material world. The material world is created by God. It's good. But how we use that material world is very important. If those items in the material world become an idol, then we need to back up, take a look, and decide whether we need to discontinue from this practice or change our attitude. 